Um, so uh, the question is, what you know, what can publishers do in this mobile space and tablet space to accelerate the growth of their their businesses there and keep up with the audience? Because ultimately, you know, if our audience are over there, then our businesses need to be over there. Make everybody buy the same phone with the same platform. That's, <laughs> no, it's it's it's, it's uh, right I, now. I, it's, I yeah. think there's a lot of really. I mean, I, I actually was laughing because I think about the the content apps that I use the most, and it is about passion points. Like it's about you know I I'll say like the New York Post I probably open four times a day, <laughs> and it's I'm embar I'm partly embarrassed, but it's super addictive because it's about my community. And I would say the th same thing about passions. Like I look at certain things regularly, and if you can get people and hook them, I think the HTML5 has helped in terms of development, and uh, certainly uh, what's happening with liquid layouts, and, and you can do a lot more with uh, a mobile-enabled site, a mobile-enabled what digital presence with your online products, and it doesn't have to be you know continually upgrading an iOS app or an Android app. Um, is my sense of things. I, 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 mobile it should be frightening to most of us, partly because the revenue potential is maybe a third, maybe maybe worse than that. Um, up to now, most of the growth in mobile has been additive. Uh, we're just starting to see some fringes where we think behaviors displacing desktop. Um, but I think most of the monetization will come around inclusive subscription. If you have a subscription rate, that, that's a value-added package, yeah. especially for a dedicated repeat user. And I think interstitials will become more prominent. But if that was our mobile revenue strategy, I'd be very nervous. Yeah. Uh, most of our, from an audience side, mobile is huge. Yeah. But the, from a business model side, our, the yeah. bulk of our yeah. revenue is in application, e-commerce-based products around our marketplace, which are made up of click-to-call uh, feeds from dealers or stores into the into our local directory yep. product. Um, that that's where our business model focus is going to yep. be. We'll we'll monetize as much of the mobile content as we can. But um, I think from a business model, the, all the growth. You know, you go to these presentations and they show these fantastic growth rates in mobile. They're very much application-rich environments, not content consumption environments yeah. and for us I mean we, we talked at the start of this about culture you know we had digital versus print we had to have e-commerce versus our content teams and today e-commerce is half of my business if I didn't have e-commerce our growth would be half yeah and yeah. those guys look at what we're doing on the content side and say that's yeah. nice but they're they're off to a totally mm -hmm. different game and that's where, for mobile, that's where most yeah. of our revenue investments come. So you think e-commerce is going to be the thing? And actually, e-commerce revenues were up 20% at publishers last year, according to the, the NEA figures. So maybe definitely something yeah, in that. I, Grant. The only thing I would add there is we've got to find different ways other than just display and mobile to generate revenue. And the one thing that I know where we're doubling down, if not tripling down, is we're building mobile websites. We're building, you know, we're, you go find someone in your local community that's building great apps. If they sell an app for $10,000, turn around and sell it for 20. You know, I mean, do the kind of white labeling work where you can allow people to get into the game. Because one of the main reasons for us in a lot of the SMB advertising and real small advertisers is they don't have a mobile site. Or, or they don't need an app. They, they may just need a great-looking mobile landing page, but get in the business of, of selling that uh, as well. I mean, you know, we, we don't have to just sell the pathway there. Go sell where these folks are going to land once they click on the ad inside of your, you know, your, your media assets.